I'm going to w talk very briefly about MVC or Model View Controller, which is a pattern um, that allows you to develop software. Basically what it says in a very abstract sense is that when you develop a web application, you should divide your work into three sections, the controller, the view, and the model, um, and that those sections should be loosely coupled. So that, for example, someone could work on the model alone and know that um, someone else could work on the view and someone else could work on the controller and not know very much about the internals of these pieces. Um, that's very abstract. To give you a, a maybe too concrete example, I'm going to talk about a site called Badge Post. And this is a badge on Badge Post. And it's been generated by um, a, a framework called Django and a language called Python that uses Model View Controller. So let's take a look at what those pieces really mean. The model is how the data for the site is being represented um, in the database. So again, you don't need to know the details of the language that allows this to happen. But you could probably glance through this and get a rough idea of the kinds of facts that we're storing about this particular badge. For example, we're storing when it was awarded as a date. We're storing whether it's uh, uh, what status it has, whether it's pending or active. We're storing who nominated it for it and um, who the the old who holds it, who has awarded it. So all of this is stuff that we're storing about this particular instance of the badge, right? And so this is what we call the model, the data model. Um, we also have the way that we're going to display this page. And we're going to display it in HTML, obviously, and CSS and JavaScript on top of that. Um, but underneath it, we, d we, we actually generate that HTML on the fly using something that's a little bit like ad libs. So you recognize maybe the H1 tag here. Um, but these pieces in here are not HTML, they're template tags. We can still probably guess what they are, right? Even though we're not programmers, this badge, badge holder first name, corresponds to Alex in this H, uh, H1. This badge, badge holder last name, corresponds to Halivay. This colon corresponds to a colon, etc. So we see some regular HTML, for example, image tags or P tags for paragraphs, and that's being divided out by source. Um, for example, in this case, is actually a template tag. And if you were not a programmer, you would still, if you were dealing with front end, that is display issues, you would still need to know a little bit about PHP or about template tags in, in Django in order to generate this template, but only a little bit. You could leave the heavy duty programming, which exists in the controller, to people who are working on the back end. So this is the controller, and I'm going to talk less about this. Basically what it does is it takes a request, in this case hiding here in the URL, and it processes that request by pulling data from the database and then putting it in the template down here where it says render this into the template called showbadge.html. Again, if you were working on the back end, you could do just this business logic that kind of takes input and generates the appropriate output. You could do just that piece um, and leave the design to the people who do the front end and let them do the, the um, the view here. So um, we will um, leave it at that for now. Obviously, the ideal person can do all three of those equally well, but they are rare. Um, the idea is that this pattern is useful for creating web applications.